Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues. Our conversation surrounds the Veteran World Championships. They'll take place October 12th through the 18th in Athens, Greece. Here to talk about one of the 85 U.S. athletes that will be in action, both men and women, by the way. And that's Jason Goldman. He'll be competing at 58 kilos. Jason, how are you? I'm doing well, Scott. Thank you. Now, the A division you're going to be in, is that basically, or does that talk to your age group more than anything? Correct. Uh, the Division A is the youngest age group there. It's 35 to 40, um, and then it works up usually in five-year increments. So let's talk a bit about how you got started in wrestling. Your pedigree is rather yo- uh, rather long. I know you were a youth uh, high school wrestler. How old were you when you started? Uh, I was seven years old when I got started. Seven years old, and you've been wrestling. It's it's in your blood. Yes, pretty much nonstop for over 30 years, um, both from a competitive standpoint and uh, most recently coaching as well. You competed at Binghamton University as a Bearcat. Before that, you were at, uh, was it Lawrence University? St. Lawrence University. St. Lawrence, yeah. And uh, transferring to Binghamton, uh, you ended up there not only as an athlete, but also as a coach. Can you talk to us about that experience? Binghamton at the time, I believe, was Division Three. Correct. Yep. Um, I transferred in. Mark Gumble was the coach at the time, uh, and he had watched me kind of grow up in the area. And um, St. Lawrence had canceled their program, and it was uh, pretty easy for me to transfer into the university at that point. I had established myself a little bit academically. Um, I came in, finished out my two years of eligibility at Binghamton. Mark Gumble did a tremendous job tweaking uh, my needs and, and getting me the workouts that I needed, and I finished up as a two-time All-American for the university. Um, and then I stuck around, uh, when I lost some credits to, uh, serve as the assistant coach there my final year. Talk a little bit about, uh, Gumbel as a coach, because you said he tweaked and helped you, uh, understand what it was you needed to do, how you could do it, how the university could better serve your needs, et cetera. I mean, it takes, and a lot of people perhaps don't give coaches enough credit in understanding the system. He understood it. Absolutely, yes. He was a he was a great coach for me. Um, like I said, he had got me the workouts I needed. He had he had helped me in certain areas that I, I needed. But like I said, he had kind of grown up watching me, so he kind of knew my style, um, and he helped me adapt at the at the national level because um, I had fallen short my freshman and sophomore year making the national tournament. Um, so he kind of got me over that got me over that bar. They're already calling to make. Uh... Further arrangements from your coaching, <laughs> Jason Goldman. Yeah, guest. sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, there it is in the background. Uh, Jason, your fa- your father is very, very uh, involved in this uh, Veterans World Championships as well. Uh, so it seems like it's a big time family affair. Has it always been that way? Um, a family affair? Yeah, my dad had got me started. My dad didn't have much wrestling background. But he had, uh, he had got me involved. He took me down to a boys club at the time. And uh, that's pretty much how it all got started. I mean, I went to a practice, signed up the next day, and have been involved ever since then. Jason, I know that, um, and you and I have talked a little off air about this, but what you're doing now uh, in terms of uh, employment can be challenging, can it be emotionally draining, and yet you seem to be uh, uh, suited well for your endeavor. Tell the folks what you, uh, what it is you do. Um, I just recently started at a, a new job with uh, epilepsy prelude and uh, work with adults that have um, traumatic brain injuries and um, developmental disabilities. And um, prior to that, I was in the human services department working with at-risk kids for 14 years. So um, stressful job, but it has its very rewarding moments, and that's what I look forward to the most. Sure. And, and again, I salute you for that. It takes a great deal of patience, understanding, knowledge of the various disabilities and abilities of, of those that you work with. And uh, i got to believe at the end of the day, uh, you're just an exhausted guy. So you take... From that, you go to the wrestling room. You practice. How many hours a week can you uh, devote to to practice? Hours a week. I, I mean, I, I put in something daily. I mean, for for me, training with the at the veteran level has now pretty much become a lifestyle for me. 
Um, I compete a couple times a year at the national tournament in the spring and then the, the world championships um, in the fall. And but between that, it's, you know, getting ready for the next one. You know, after the Worlds, it's getting ready for the Nationals the following year. After the Nationals, it's getting ready for the next World Championship. So it's a it's an ongoing thing. So, I mean, it's easily, you know, two to three hours every day um, kind of putting time in, whether it be on the mats, off the mats, running, being in the gym, kind of mixing it up, keeping things interesting. You've accomplished some great things in your in your career, not only in college, but even before that. I remember in 93, you went undefeated, winning a New York State High School championship. Um, how difficult was that year? Uh, that year was it was pretty difficult for me. Uh, weight, I actually had to cut a little bit of weight my senior year. I was always on the small end, so I never had to worry about it. But uh, uh, cutting weight was a little bit difficult for me, and uh, the state tournament was a great run for me. I, I had gotten sick my junior year out at the state tournament, and I fell short of my goals, um, actually leaving the state tournament after my semifinal match and ended up uh, taking six, just forfeiting the six. And I came back my senior year, you know, on a mission pretty much. And, and like you said, I capped it off at, with an undefeated season, and I had a great finals match that's pretty memorable. Uh, a lot of people still, to this day still remember it. Um, where I uh, headlocked a guy in the last probably 20 seconds in the match and kind of had the view of the camera, and I saw the countdown, and I was able to pump my fist, and it was pretty a pretty exciting moment for me. Talk to me a little bit about 1992. It seems, and, and I think you, you will probably agree with me, Jason, that your Greco-Roman experience complemented your ability to compete at a different level as a high school champ. Uh, so go back to 1992, the year before you went undefeated uh, in high school. Talk to us about that Cadet Greco-Roman World Silver Medal. Uh, cadet, yeah, um, the Cadet Greco match. I was uh, it was up in uh, Alma, Canada, and um, it was a great experience for me. Um, but I, I had gotten involved probably after a few years of being involved in the sport. I got involved in freestyle and Greco. And uh, stayed heavily involved and wrestled year round when I was younger, and that that really helped me um, up, kind of up my folk style wrestling. Um, it helped me do a lot of a lot more from control ties. Um, a lot of my offense, I was lacking a really good shot um, on my on my feet. I didn't have a lot of confidence, but wrestling freestyle and Greco both um, allowed me the opportunity to really work from an upper body tie up and from underhooks, from two on one positions, from 50, 50. Um, so it made me really comfortable there. And a lot of my offense and my folk style wrestling, I, I attribute to the freestyle and Greco that I did when I was younger. Is your strength today different than your strength was in 92? As far as, um, a lot of guys initially will use strength, brawn, pushing ability, lifting ability, uh, and as they get older, I got to believe that technique is even more important. Uh, yeah, technique is it's it's pretty important to me. Uh, but you know, the, as far as the the strength part of it goes, I I've, I've always felt for the most part just as strong, if not stronger, than most of the guys I've gone against. I feel like some of the matches that I've lost have been from a technical standpoint. Um, but strength wise, I mean, I I I feel like that's a been an important part of my training, especially at the, at the vet level. Um, I've continued to put a lot of time in the gym and, and get stronger. I feel like my technique is still kind of on point. Um, and you know, it's, it's kind of reaction time is a little bit slower than it used to be. Um, but I, I definitely feel, um, just as loose, you know, at 40 as I did when I was 20. So that's amazing at 40 years old. We're talking with Jason Goldman. He's an Endicott, New York, uh, absolutely putting the time in uh, to compete at the Veterans World Championships. He'll be in Group A. He'll be in the last year that you can compete in the A division. Um, and that's kind of exciting. So one more opportunity to win again. Uh, and we're awful proud of you. 85 athletes going to be going over to compete. It's the largest group in U.S. history. What do you know about that? Um. I'm kind of learning as we go. You know, the past couple of years, um, this is this would be my third year out with the team. The past couple of years, I it went to Sarajevo, Bosnia, uh, my first year out, and we had between 30 and 35 guys. Um, I had a great experience. You know, I won the the freestyle world championship my that year, and I took second in Greco. And last year at um, Belgrade, Serbia, 
Um, we had about the same number of athletes go, about 35 athletes, and um, I took a silver in both styles. So coming in this year, um, knowing that it's at Athens, you know, it's kind of the birthplace of our sport, you know, and we've been trying to get the word out with the vets and, you know, especially at, out at Las Vegas at the national tournament, we communicated with a lot of people. We're really trying to reach out and get our numbers up there. And, you know, I, I, I'm happy as heck that we got, you know, three times as many people going out this year. We have a few women that are wrestling because that's been, uh, that's available this year. That's new, new to uh, the, the veteran level this year. Um, so I'm really excited, you know, about the, about this group going out it's going to be meeting a whole bunch, uh, uh, new people, um, that, uh, I haven't, that haven't been a part of the team, you know, and, uh, it's, like I said, it's in Athens, you know, the birthplace of our sport, <laughs> you know, I'm, ex I'm excited about that. Never been there. Um, so I'm looking forward to the experience. We're talking with Jason Goldman. Jason, I know you watched at least some if not all of the 2015 World Championships live Absolutely. from Las Vegas at the Orleans Arena, you saw the performances, perhaps, of Jordan Burroughs and Helen Marulis, Adeline Gray. But what about the young phenom from Ohio, the 19-year-old freshman in yeah, uh, Kyle, Kyle Snyder? Snyder. I mean, what do you think? I, I think he's, he's an amazing athlete, very dedicated. I mean, from, from the early on beating Jake Varner, you know, and making a statement there, you know, beating – people that he's looked up to, you know, um, not, hasn't even won a national title yet and, uh, has already won a world title. So it's, uh, it's amazing to see, um, him accomplish stuff at such a young age. Um, you know, and he, he's a great athlete to watch, you know, very fun. He's a fun athlete to watch. Um, so I, I think he did a tremendous job at the world championships. You know, he left some holes, obviously his opponent scored on him, but then he, didn't let that bother him. It wasn't in his head. He went out there confident knowing he was going to win one way or the other. And that's that's the difference where, you know, that's what makes or break the best athletes in the world, you know, is that, that wrestling with that confidence level and even falling behind and just coming back one point at a time, chipping away at it, you know, and, and staying calm and believing in believing in your abilities, you know. And then he, he did just that, you know. It was, it, it was a great moment. I love it. Great for our sport. I mean, it was just, it was pretty epic, so. Epic indeed, Jason. I appreciate you taking the time to jump into the Nike hot seat today to talk about the 2015 Veteran World Championships. Again, fans, they take place October 12th through the 18th. I think their travel days are 9 and 10 of October. A lot of athletes going to be heading into Athens for this memorable event. You can keep up with it online at unitedworldwrestling.org. Again, unitedworldwrestling.org. I believe they have streaming scheduled. It should be an awful lot of fun. And Jason, we wish you the best as well as your teammates. 58 kilos, dangerous weight, buddy. Thank you. Yep. But we're striving for double gold this year. Double gold, baby. Double gold. Absolutely. That's the word. Show me the shirt you're wearing. It's uh, Team J Gold, my fundraising shirt. Um, it says Veteran Wrestling um, on the back. It's got the 2015 Veteran World Championships. So pretty excited. I've sold a lot of shirts. It's kind of what I've done over the past few years. But, you know, like I said, I've, I've fallen short of my goal the past couple of years, but I'm really excited to, to do it in Greece. So, Jason, we appreciate the time. Congratulations on all your success. Thank you for all your contributions to the sport, too. Your winning ways and your competitive ways have made a difference in the lives of so many, inspiring many, i got to believe, as well. Thanks again. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate the time. For all of us at Takedown Media, I'm Scott Casper. Our special guest at the Nike Hot Seat today, Jason Goldman, 58 kilo, A division. He'll be competing at the Veteran World Championships October 12th through the 18th in Athens, Greece. Yeah, that's All what right. I'm talking about. Absolutely.